First things first. Hello everybody, hope you're well. It has finally stopped raining and the sun is ever so trying to come out, which is excellent because we are at stage four, which is building brick lane, whatever we want to call it. We've got to get up to damp. So we're going to go through all that with you now. I won't go into too much detail because if you watch these videos, then no doubt you watch other videos that have detailed it all before and we're going to go over old ground or anything like that. Nothing really new or revolutionary about it. We're just going to do it the way we do it, basically. So we'll quickly gloss over that, then we'll actually start building something which I'm very much excited about. So I'll turn you around and we'll show you where we're at. So as you would know from our other videos, for our other episodes, or maybe you don't, if not, these are the episodes that you're looking for. If you want to see us getting this concrete in, and sourcing this drainage out, changing that main, moving that from there to there. Um, so here we are, concrete has gone off, lovely. I've given it a sweep over. You'd know from that episode of the concrete that the conditions were that bad that we just got that in and just left it. And I said at the time, what we'll do, if it's out of leather or anything, we'll sort it out at this stage. So here we are. So first thing we're gonna do then is get this out, get, the, get it all nice and level coming across. So I've Hammered in a couple of stakes either side, give the concrete a sweep off and then what we're going to do is transfer a level, finalised level which is set up just on that bit of sand there, transfer a finished floor level from the house, transfer it onto that stake and onto that one and then measure down in brickwork, measure down in gauge every 75mm and then we'll see where we are and then we'll get our first course as close as we can to four meters across, get our first course across. Any cuts or anything like that, we'll sort it out at this stage. And then after that, then we'll just gauge up and away we go. So that's basically it. Got a little over here, we'll show you that in a sec, which is just digging that out and getting that drainage in all our internal stuff, which we'll go into a little bit later. So yeah, we'll get some levels across now and then we'll go for it. Right, we're all set up now ready to go. What we've done, we set up our laser level over there. Wherever you set your laser level up, you've just got to make sure that you've got a clear line of sight from where you situate it to where you're taking your level from to where you're transferring them to. So you haven't got to move the level. As soon as you move the level, the level has changed, so you've got to start again. So we set it up over there and we took our level from the existing house and then we transferred it to that stuff there, just by Mick, and transferred it onto here. That's our mark just there. And then I've laid that block. It's a block works on so far below the ground here, look. Um, I've laid that block so the distance from that mark to the top of our block is uh, works gauge, works brickwork. In, in this case, it's 300 mil to there. And then I've done exactly the same and transferred that level over to that block there, which is set in a bit because the footing steps down, but we'll go over that in a second. And then we've got our line, line across here. And what we're going to make sure is that what we build, this back wall here, is square to this wall. We know that when we did this loft conversion, that this house is all over the place in terms of square and level. So I'm not going to put a line up the gable and then come 90 degrees off that, because I doubt very much by the time we've done that, that this line will be square with the house, which puts our roof rafters all in a world of nowhere. So we're going to keep it square here so our roof is right. And then all I'm going to do is put a course all the way across here, square to the house. And then when it comes to it, I'm just going to come 90 degrees off this wall, straight back into the house down there. And then if we're slightly out of square running into here, then so be it. I'm not going to start doing unsquare corners and whatnot just to make it look 100% right if it's going to really screw us up in terms of the roof. So we've got, to, we've got to build all this with a roof in mind. And then eventually, when it comes here, when it comes 90 degrees from here into that, that'll be stepped in probably to about maybe 100 mil, um, yeah, 100 mil in, just where that half is there, just that line there, bring it in. And we've done that because of the video that we put out a few months ago now, when I asked you a bit lies for your, your help. If you can see the joints here, absolutely massive so normally if I'm doing a gable like this I like to keep it in line and keep it all flush 
and get the same bricks, match the bricks up nice, which we do anyway, obviously, but then keep it all courses. So from the road as you're walking up, it all looks lovely, but I'm not going to emulate that. No way. I won't be able to build this. It'll all start falling and bowing, and you only have to do a couple of courses a day and all that rubbish. So we're going to we're going to forget it and we're going to come in under a mill and keep it completely separate like that. That way then I can also use metric bricks and not imperial ones which should be a lot easier in terms of match up with the block work and whatnot. So get this lining now. These are all level. I've got my little pony fixed brick one there, the Chinese equivalent. I've got a proper one up here. Give them a go. I've had them for ages but my other one to that is all bent up in the bag. Not very robust so I don't find but, but there we go. Um, so yeah, get that in, nice and level, and we'll go off that. Nice right, so we've got, we've got that wall where it needs to be now, that line there is square with the house. Now, the footing wasn't great, as you've probably seen from the other video, um, so I haven't got that out yet. What I'm going to do is go over this now in bricks and our first course is get that spot on so this course is getting it where it needs to be in terms of away from the house and our course of bricks on top of that we'll get the layers level out and put a brick either side and then run the line through and then it will be that will get it all nice and level we're still well in the ground so we've got plenty of room to to play with so we'll do that next on this one i've got the uh got my square out and then I that through, well not iron it through, uh, we just lined it through and it just comes just to the right of that bulge there, so it speaks. That's as far over as we can get it. And there we are, as presented by Michael, one of my glamorous assistants. Uh, so that's going to come just on the inside of that. That's as far over as this wall can go. So I'm going to put a block there now and then start doing my brickwork corner, get it all nice and level up to our, up to our point on there, which I showed you earlier. Do the same down there, and then we can start running all through, and then we're good.